Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Goetia. We learned some things in the last episode which are quite disturbing. The the, the year seems to be the nine, somewhere in the 1940s. Uh, our, our little ghost Abigail's sister has grown up, had children of her own, and those children seem to have grown. And from what we can see, the whole... The, the manor, the, the gardens, even the village appears to have fallen into disrepair and has become abandoned. And that's before we start considering all the demons that are floating around the place. So let's see what we can find out today, shall we? Okay, so here we are. We left off in this room here, and now this looks like a dumb waiter. We've got all these photos, and we press the control button. There's much for us to look here. This dumb waiter is connected to the kitchen in the basement. I'm willing to bet that is how we get to the basement. And up it comes, of course. Okay. We'll look at that later on. These glasses are still full, as if people left in a hurry. Right, Robert Hodgkin, 1940, 14 years old. Nothing to say about that, okay. Gabriel Hodgkin, February 1939. There we go, 31 years old. This this is the family, isn't it? And Anne Hodgkin, November 1940. Anne Hodgkin. Anne Hodgkin. Annie is a good enough. I still recognise her there. Alexander Hodgkin, August 1939, 28 years old. And finally, Edward Hodgkin, 1940, 10 years old, the next generation. Uh, yes, I thought we might have something to say about this one. There's dear Mrs. Ward, the housekeeper, and she has her keys, even in the painting. I should imagine that is what we call a clue. I will never know the taste of this wine. No, I should imagine you won't. Uh, okay, that's the end of this room. Let's have a quick look at these paintings. The ruined tower reminds me of the one the villagers were talking about on the woods on the estate. The silver medallion holds the portrait of a dour-looking man with sharp eyes. Can we do anything with it? No. This seat was, of course, Father's armchair. Gosh, looks really comfortable, doesn't it? Is there anything up here? We've been up here before. This is where we met... Uh, uh, I forgot his name now. Freddy the Demon. So we can go try the dumb waiter, or we can just go across here. Let's go across here for now. Oh. All right. This weird wardrobe is not really my style. It's a little notebook. I'm a little notebook. Sure. Oh, I can possess the notebook. Hmm. Some of his pages have been stolen away. Perhaps they're still around somewhere. Yep, those are definitely torn away pages. So, what can I do by possessing this? I've got to find out. Birdies, they come to attack you.
So we can move it around. Now we need to work out why we want to move it around. Okay, so we'll leave it there for now. And let's have a look at the rest of this. That's a strange place for an office. Four wooden spears, ornated on the front of this box. A word is written on each. The original ornament, an original ornament for such a box. This bronze statue is superb. It's an eagle or a, or a falcon. Details count. Get? Did somebody say get? <laughs> okay, so we can't go up here. We can go through here. We need to remember we can possess that that notebook. I'm sure that's going to come in handy somewhere. Um, so let's see what's through this way. Oh, we're back outside. Ooh. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehendeth not. Okay, back inside. Alright, so let's go back and let's try this dumb waiter out. Of course, we don't need the dumb way to us out. Okay, penny starting to drop. All right, this to either move things up or to move things down. But here we are in the kitchen. There is a sheet of paper on the wall. But why is it blank? How odd. These plates haven't been properly washed. The meals weren't finished either. Oh dear, it's the Marie Celeste with cellars. Smoked garlic. I used to love that smell, but the memory is fading. Okay. Ooh, jigsaw puzzle. Okay, so that's... Uh Unjigsaw the puzzle, shall we? No. No. But those two fit together. Alright. Okay, those look like they work. Let's move this across a little bit. See if... Yeah, those fit there. Okay, so now put that one in there, that one in there. Um, well, that one's fairly obvious. Okay, these aren't actually snapping into place by the looks of it, just got to get it close enough. There we go. There we go, that's the whole thing. Oh no, that one is apparently not in pixel perfect yet. Hmm. <laughs> 
My young brother it's been a while since I haven't put your keen mind to the test. How would you feel about a paper chase? First clue, chariot. Happy hunting! Arr. Okay. Okay, right, I was hoping that would stay put together or go into the journal. I hope I did that right. I'm still a bit worried about the fact that there's a corner missing from it. Uh, just getting this pixel perfect is a bit hard as well. No, there wasn't a, a corner bit. Okay, so we'll assume that we got that right. Oops, all the rest of this. Can we go that way? No, we can't. Oh, let's go this way. Something's preventing me from going any further. It must have something to do with those strange metal sheets bolted to the wall. There's a combination lock on the door. Okay. There's no food in these shelves. No one's planned on settling in here. These sheets are made of metal. Lead, maybe. Well, it's true what they say. You can lead a horse to water, but a pencil must be lead. A thick metal door. It also looks like it's made of lead. Okay, so we need the combination, do we? So I'm going to click with this. Yes, it's blank. So our first clue is chariot. We should have to remember that. And we can get things up and down through the dumb waiter. Can't go through that way, can't go through that way. And all of this is blocked off to us. We don't appear to be able to go that way. That way below here leads us back into the kitchen. The below us there is blocked. Father may not have been fond of horses. This statuette is gorgeous, but I don't remember it either. Okay, so that's... I feel like we should be able to possess that, but we can't. And we can't go down here. Because that's all blocked. Go back this way. Down is blocked. Up is not. Let's go up. I feel we uh, we have been here, haven't we? Yes, we can't go out that way. I feel I get the feeling that chariot clue is perhaps the next thing that moves us forward. Okay, we can't go up that way, it's got a different seal. Don't feel like we've been in this room. Got nothing to say about that picture. And uh, appears nothing to say about this room, okay. But we can go up there. Excellent. <laughs> right, uh, going east is blocked. Ben, 
A Tale of the Christ by Lewis Wallace. Leaving a book out on the shelf isn't Annie's habits. Hmm, I wonder if that has anything to do with the chariot clue. It was here. I fell out of this window. It was an accident, but I clearly remember falling here. Oh dear. Alright, up is blocked, east is blocked. That tapestry I feel should be important, but isn't. We can't go any higher. And west is blocked. That puts us back here. There are leaves on the tree. We're still in winter, but I don't feel cold. That's strange. There's a hexagonal shape carved into the pedestal, as if something had been taken out. I don't think I saw that before. Okay. Uh, Abigail Blackwood, 1890-1902. Well, at least that makes things clear now. Uh, I like this tree. But in my memories, it's a bit more oppressive, even in winter. I remember the path of the village, but I'd rather stay here for now. Okay, so, right, we need to, whatever we need to move on is here around us. So let's see what we can find. Alright, so... I think okay so we know we need to look at something about chariots we know uh, uh, we've got a, a notebook we can move there's a horse statue we should I feel we should be able to do something with but we can't and a lead door in the kitchen so I suppose let's start having a quick look at the journal here See if we can think of anything that might give us a clue. Alright, so... Right, so yeah, so the game is agreeing with me here. The room next to the kitchen is out of bounds to her and other beings. What could be so precious to be protected in that way? Uh, the feather. When I close this feather, I feel like something is calling me, but the feeling is vague. I must be missing something. A torn notebook. An empty notebook, a torn page, an object that calls me, and uh, whose message I must decipher. Yeah, I, I'm inclined to agree. I wonder if bringing them together would help. I can't remember where the feather is, though. Hmm. Let's okay, so let's just have a quick look through here. Frankenstein. Okay, so we get these books left around places, which I'm, I feel is important. I just can't help. Um, can't help but feel that, yeah, you know, the books might be part of the, uh, part of the clue, or at least one of the part of the activity. We read this. 
Yeah, we were at that. We have read that. This box contains some kind of white powder. This box? I didn't notice that before. Can be possessed. So we need to know why. A hollowed skull, okay. Shame we can't open it. Ah, oh, there's a feather. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Right, we're overrunning on time a little bit here, but let's see if we can can't start using these things on each other. So let's possess that. Okay, no. It'd be nice if we could use these things on each other. Okay. Don't know why I tried that, I just felt like trying it. So let's move this through. There we go. That's new the light poke. So we can We can't do anything though, we can't use It's a little look short and stout. The birds seem interested in the feather. been too much too too good if that was just joined wouldn't it so okay dots mm. okay so right Need to find the right word to open that up. Look, so I can't use these things on each other. But I can't think of a white powder that one can use to uh, reveal. Reveal hidden text. Though I confess that I should imagine bringing one of these down to the kitchen is going to solve a lot of our problems. So let's put these things together. I wish I could read that text up in the corner there, but I can't. Let's leave these here. Uh, time is up for this episode.
next episode let's have a have a an attempt at putting these items to some use because these three items in one way or another are what going to move us forward so until then i've been simon parsons this has been good yeah and i've been curious is why they don't move without the feather i should imagine the feather is significant thank you and good night